All right, good morning, everyone. It's week four of Dedicated. Here we are, hanging in there. And also this week, I take my Comlex level one exam, which is basically the equivalent of step one, but for DO students. Welcome. If this is the first video that you're watching from me, I have three other weeks of boards prep for you to watch. If you want to watch them chronologically, I will link the playlist. All around, I'm feeling pretty good. I had a relaxing weekend with my fiance's family, and so I'm feeling pretty refreshed. I don't know how long that will last. I'm hoping pretty long. I'm definitely scared for my Comlex exam, but I'm scoring pretty well on my practice tests. I took a Com Say, which is kind of like the NBME practice tests. It's put on by the NBOME, which is the osteopathic version and i'm happy with my scores on those so i figure why delay any longer so for the next three days i'm going to spend my time reviewing micro and omm because those two topics tend to be extremely high yield on complex so that's what i'm going to get started on now Also, if you guys care about my fish stuff, I got a new little bookshelf for my fiance. He wasn't really using it, and so I've turned it into my quarantine tank stand and my wood storage facility. All the tanks are doing pretty well. I still have two Ember Tetras in here from the Ember Tetra genocide that occurred because of an ick infestation. I'm not really sure what to do with them, honestly. Like, I could put them in the 20 gallon, but I'm gonna be moving pretty soon and it's gonna be impossible to find them in the 20 gallon. Here's Winslow. He's kind of hard to see because it's quite dark right now. The lights don't come on until noon, but there he is. Here is Pinion looking very fierce and very blue. I'll show you everybody once the lights are actually on. Oh, I gotta make my bed. Anyway, here is this tank. This tank's looking nice. The only thing is I can't get the java moss to get really green and start growing. It's kind of browning and dying off, so I don't really know what I did wrong. I thought java moss was supposed to be easy, but I gave everything in here a trim, except I missed some little spots of dwarf hair grass, but that's okay. And I threw away probably two pounds of floating plants yesterday because all of my tanks were just completely overrun. One more thing, guys. The way that I'm going to do this, because I don't really feel like rebalancing my schedule, is I'm just going to go to the days that have micro. So that would be... I forgot to add micro early. So we've got four days of micro, five days of micro here. So I'm just going to start on this day find any micro lectures. These are, it seems like there's a ton of these, but most of them are like seven minutes. Here's where the micro lectures start. So I'm gonna start with these and then just also use the UWorld questions that I have due today. I might be a little ambitious to get all of this done in three days, but I am pretty good at micro and OMM. And since those happen to be very heavily reviewed topics, I'm not really super worried about it. It's about noon. I'm about halfway through the bacteria section of Sketchy Micro, so I feel like I'm kind of making good time. It's been about four hours. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I just kind of wanted to take a break, and it's so nice outside. I wish I could be out there, <sighs> but I'm stuck inside my dark apartment. It'll help when the aquarium lights come on because they're pretty bright. I have nothing else to say. I don't know why I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm really hungry but I don't really have any food here because I was gone obviously and I don't really wanna buy a bunch of food because I'm gonna be gone again when we leave for Zion. So not really looking to stock my fridge, but also I'm tired of just eating packaged things. I'm just really tired today, guys. I don't know why that is. Okay, so I've decided that we are gonna take a short little break to go to the grocery store. I really don't wanna get a lot of stuff. Basically, I just wanna get some things to maybe have some salad and fruit for this upcoming week and maybe also some snacks for my exam. But other than that, I really don't want a ton, so. My go-to whenever I have something to go to where I don't know if I'm gonna have a refrigerator but I need to have something yummy is to make a quinoa salad. So I think we're gonna get stuff to make that. I already have quinoa, I think. So I basically just need the vegetables. Oh, Mr. Quinoa. Yep, we have quinoa, we're good. Okay, let's go on a trip.
We've got a couple videos left in the bacteria section of Sketchy Micro. There's definitely no way I'm gonna finish all of this today. That was ridiculous. <laughs> if I watched it on two times speed and literally sat at the computer and did nothing but watch every single video and skipped all the quizzes, I think maybe you could potentially get all of Micro done in one day, but I'm just trying to get stuff in that I think I need a refresher on. And so since Micro is so highly tested, that's kind of what I've chosen. But to be honest, you never really have any idea what exactly is going to be on the exam. So it's all kind of a toss up. Do you guys want to see my cube tank? I'm thinking about either putting a pea puffer in here or a celestial pearl Danio group with some shrimp. Let me know what should go in here. I'm not doing it until I move. Mr. Pinion, hello. Hi, handsome. You're looking very nice today. That java fern got uh, uprooted. I need to fix that. I didn't have it rooted, obviously. I just had it squished in between those two rocks. Oh my God, you're so cute. I also made a TikTok for all of my fish and pets. So I think it's just at Ariella G. Anthony. I don't really know how TikTok works, but I'll leave my username here so that you guys can go and check it out if you're interested. Okay, um, I think I'm going to make some French fries because I don't know, apparently I want my stomach to hurt tonight, but I'm gonna make some French fries and finish up bacteria. Done with bacteria. I'm making some pasta and then we're gonna go right into a fungal. And then I can't really decide if I wanna do more practice questions tonight. I guess it depends on how long it takes me to cook. I might not be able to start fungal until tomorrow. Okay. Hey guys, I wanted to really quickly say hi. Um, I can't be trusted with my phone. I have had it all morning and just have not been studying very well. So I'm gonna leave the phone in my room but I wanted to say hello. I am working my way through Sketchy Micro. I finished fungus. I'm probably about slightly less than halfway through viruses now, so I'm hoping I can get through viruses and parasites tonight and just be done with it. I've also been doing practice questions and just kind of chilling out because at this point I feel like what more am I actually going to learn? So I'm just trying to get these like quick little micro factoids into my head. A lot of the OMM stuff I've been looking over, but again, I'm pretty good at OMM. Some of the things that I still need to just like kind of re-memorize are my viscerosomatics, which I have like a little visual diagram for that I use a YouTube video. Same thing with the Chapman's points and like random Maverick counter strain points. If you guys are osteopathic students, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're an allopathic student, just ignore this part because it's not relevant. But between those two things, I feel like there's not much more I can do. So I've just been plugging right along. So I will update you if I actually get all of that done, but my phone is going to be staying in my room because I am not responsible enough to have it next to me. Hey there, sketchy microers. You know, we've been going through how you're doing. There's a lot of material, huh? Sometimes you might get overwhelmed and angry and feel like wanting to slap someone. And there's a strong possibility that that someone is me. Well, sorry, I didn't discover all these micro. Welcome everybody to Wednesday morning. It's about 7.40 a.m. and I am off to get a drink. I just haven't really felt like driving over to the place. Oh, I forgot the, okay, I need to go back inside my apartment and get the slip. But yeah, once that's done, I'm gonna go home, organize all of my clearances and then continue studying for tomorrow. I'm not feeling like totally scary nervous yet, but I'm sure that's probably gonna hit me tomorrow morning. And I'll take you through like some of the things that I'm gonna do to prepare today as well. Okay, so it turns out that wasn't gonna work because you need an appointment. So I made an appointment for 9.15 and now I'm just gonna get to work on scanning in some of my clearances and hopefully I have all of them. I kind of procrastinated on this a little. I've been collecting them over time, but I just haven't been scanning them in as I get them. So I don't actually know what I have and don't have. Hey guys, so I'm getting back from the drug test now or I'm driving home. I stopped at the grocery store and grabbed some kombucha and some desserts for myself because they didn't have any ice cream when I went to the grocery store earlier in the week. Like they literally, the entire ice cream like aisle was completely empty. So I got some sorbet because I like to have that and I'll probably have some after the exam tomorrow. I also grabbed some little like individually wrapped Werther's candies because I'm an old lady. Anyway, I'm gonna continue working on my clearances once I get home and then we will finish up 
parasite micro, review some OMM, make some quinoa salad, which is what I'm gonna have for lunch tomorrow, and we'll be all set. I always hate editing these car portions because they're really loud, so I'm gonna stop talking now. <sighs> Finished up clearances. Now I'm gonna start working on sketchy and practice questions. Made an iced coffee because it's getting to be about that time of year. I'm not panicking yet. Not panicking yet. I'm actually not panicking yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Also, please excuse the mess, but I wore a dress today to go get drug tested because I literally have worn nothing but shorts and sweatpants for months. So I think I'm gonna keep it on because it's comfortable. Hey, sending her into a coma. So now that we have our victim, let's get into the symptoms of it. So I just finished Dirty Medicine's 50 review Comlex questions and I am officially done studying for Comlex. So for the rest of the night, I am definitely going to relax. I'll probably try and wake up tomorrow morning pretty early just so that I can get everything done and packed up in the morning. I want to pack my lunch. I want to be able to sit and enjoy my coffee before I drive the 20 to 30 minutes to the testing center. I have to be there at 8.30, so I'm probably gonna leave here around like 7.45 just to be extra safe because I'm kind of ridiculous. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me tonight. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Again, still not freaking out quite yet, but I have had little bouts of nervousness throughout the day, so. I'm sure it's gonna hit me like a ton of bricks tomorrow morning, especially after I have coffee. So, see you then. I'm nervous now. Time to drive. Time to go in. Fingers crossed. I'm feeling nervous, but honestly, I don't feel that bad. I talked to my fiance on the way here and just kind of like got all my energy out. The hardest thing for me is going to be maintaining 100% concentration for the full eight hours, but yeah. All right, I'll see you guys when it's over. I am alive, and what better place to tell you than sitting on traffic, sitting on traffic? Sitting in traffic on my way home. It was honestly harder than I expected, but I talked to a friend who had the same opinion, so I have nothing to say. My brain has never been so mushy before after an exam. This is definitely a first for me, but yeah. 360 questions is way too much. Anyway, I don't know, I'll update you guys when I end up not being... Words. I'll update you when I'm not dead anymore.